Hi. Well, good evening. My name's Alex. And I'm Peter, and we're right here at Metal Bank, but it's where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh. Listen, because of Tier 3, uh, it's with great disappointment that we can't all gather here tonight. Um, but thank goodness for modern technology, which means that we can all watch at home together. Absolutely, and it's still going to be a great time together. We're going to be able to sing together, we're going to be able to spend time with one of us on tonight, Alex. Yeah, thank you. So, we're going to have some contemporary music, some traditional choir music, with a beautiful soprano act, a little bit later on, and some great Bible readings. Uh, and my friend here, Peter, is going to share a little bit about Christmas. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's really going to be fantastic. And rather than just sort of sit back and relax and enjoy the show, I mean, we really want to lean in and, uh, like, let's belt it, right? Let's sing loudly. You don't need to wear a mask. You don't need to socially distance. You can hug or cough on anything you like. Well, within reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I think probably it's time to just get going and let's, let's so. start having a merry little Christmas, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, well, well done, Elise and the band. Thank you so much. Peter and I ran back from Meadowbank. I'm sort of breath. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Well, welcome to St. Paul's Church for the next part of our service. And um, listen, just to let you know at the outset, we are COVID safe and secure. We're using sanitizers like they're going out of fashion. We're well distanced. Uh, don't worry tonight about the safety of any of us here. We're being very, very careful. Absolutely. We're going to have a, continue to have a great time. We're going to continue singing. As we were saying before, really dig in. You could sit back and be passive, but I really encourage you, if you want to stand, stand. If you got kids, get up, dance around. Let's have a really good time together as we continue to celebrate Christmas tonight. Glory to the newborn King, 
Excellent. And now for our first reading, we're going to be hearing from the Gospel of Luke from a local primary school teacher, uh, Rachel. This reading is from Matthew 1, uh, chapter, verse 18 to 25. Almost Luke. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, it's near it's enough, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Shine, it 
Thank you, Elise, so much. So beautiful. 
Well, I'm really delighted. I'm joined by Councillor David Draper. Welcome, David. Great to have you. And a big shout out at this point to Mole Valley Council, who <laughs> were so supportive in the Meadowbank event. So thank you, David, for coming and reading to us now. Pleasure, Alex. Thank you. So our reading now is from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 16. And there were shepherds living out on the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Thank you, David. Peter, come and make sense of all of this, will you? <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> well... Come and make sense of all of this. That's not going to happen any time in my lifetime. But, hey, 2020, like, what a, are you kidding me? Tier 4, like, we're so good at this. We're so good at coronavirus. They had to invent a new tier for us. That's incredible. That is an outstanding way to sort of ruin everything in one sense. And I know some of you are like, man, this is absolutely terrible, horrible, no good, very bad news. Because this Christmas, I was really looking forward to eating too much, drinking too much, being disappointed with my gifts, and falling out with my family all together in the same house. And now I can't do that. I can't even have to sit through a service I don't want to go to. I need to actually be sat in my lounge having to watch a service I don't even want to go to. But that's not the case for you right now, of course, because this is incredible. Killer band, Sweet Soprano, the choir is on point. I mean, goodness, what a great evening. But one of the things that we find out from these readings in the Gospels about the birth of Jesus is that God tends to be annoyingly subtle. God tends to be annoyingly subtle. And actually, this 2020 Christmas is an opportunity for something remarkably different. We're accustomed to going to carol services. We're accustomed to going to midnight mass. We're accustomed to getting together and feasting and drinking and all of the rest of it. And that's what Christmas means to us, doesn't it? For so many, it's getting together with family and just celebrating. And the subtleness of the miracle of the birth of Jesus, the subtleness of the miracle of God with us can get lost. And this year, it's all stripped back. This year, there's nothing to hide behind. This year, we might miss Christmas altogether. What a tragedy that would be. But what a blessing for the opportunity to find out that all this time, we've been like a three-year-old caught up with all of the wrapping paper and never engaging with the gift. And here's the gift. Fear not. God is with us. And you might be saying, dude, Nevins, well, you probably wouldn't be saying dude because most of you guys aren't American. But like, you'd be saying, Nevins, what are you talking about? The, what are you talking about God with us? If God is even at all, he doesn't uh, seem to be anywhere near me right now. 
And all I can do is tell you, he is. In the subtle, in the quiet, when all of the scaffolding of life has fallen away. The Bible talks about God being in the still quietness. And in that quiet moment, when we're afraid because all of our scaffolding, all of our support has gone away, he says to us, fear not. I am with you. And this Christmas can be your Christmas to say, God, I'm going out on a limb here, it feels like, but I believe you. I believe that you are with me. I believe that you forgive me. I believe that you love me. And this Christmas, I want to live my life with you. I want to follow you. I have no idea, God, what that means, but I want to figure it out. Let this Christmas be the Christmas that all the static is removed and you hear that subtle revelation of God. Here I am. Fear not. And now Alex is going to tell us a little bit more about how we can discover a little bit more about what that stuff means. Right. Thank you, Peter. Well, I wonder whether actually we might just have a quick pray yeah. from what you said. Absolutely. Um, should we just pray? If you don't feel comfortable praying, that's absolutely fine. Um, let's just pray if what Peter said struck you. Let's say a quick prayer. Father, thank you for Peter's words. And if that resonated with you, that longing for something to understand God more, or to know him more, then... Um, May I just pray this prayer? God, uh, I don't necessarily know who you are. I don't know what it means to follow you entirely. But, uh, but something of what Peter said struck me tonight. And so, God, if you are there, then come and speak to me. Come into my life and, and give me a plan and a course that I can follow. Make it abundantly clear so I don't miss it. And help me to know you. Uh, amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, listen, if you want to know a little bit more about the Christian faith, uh, we'd love to, to chat with you and catch up with you. Um, why don't you either drop an email to support at stpaulsdorking.org.uk. Uh, we'd love to be in touch with you, tell you about a course that we're running in January. Uh, Ten weeks exploring what it means to know Jesus. How do you pray? How does God guide you? How do you know that he's even there? Uh, like Peter challenged us tonight. Uh, you might want to just Google churches in Dorking. Uh, we're a whole group of different churches tonight coming together. So Google churches in Dorking. We'll just come into a church if it's open. Uh, we'd love to, to meet you. Great. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Well, listen, we're going to stand. If you're at home, you're really welcome to stand. I'm going to talk to my home because my kids never stand up when it's time <laughs> to sing. So Louis, Milo, and May, if you want to stand up now, that would be great. And uh, if you want to stay sitting, that's fine too. Uh, and let's join the choir nice and loudly as they lead us in our next carol.
fantastic. Thank you, choir. Um, this evening, we're going to be taking a collection that uh, Alex is going to explain the details of a in a little bit. And that collection is going to support three local charities, one of which is called Beatitudes. And Rosemary is going to help us understand a little bit more about how is it Beatitudes serves our community here in Dorking. Sorry. It's all right. I'm usually so loud in church. You're though. great. No, no worries. No worries. First of all, Beatitudes means blessing. And uh, like many Christian charities in town and churches, we are here to bless our community. Mm -hmm. So uh, first of all, we are a drop-in mm -hmm. where people can come with their children and the children can play mums and dads and grandparents or carers can sit down, have a cup of tea and a chat with staff. Secondly, we are a place of prayer. So mm. people come and they tell us their needs, mm. they tell us their troubles, they tell us um, about the babies that are due to be born and we pray for all those things on a Friday afternoon at half past one. Do join us if you'd like for Thanks. an hour. Um, Thirdly, we are, of course, a charity shop <laughs> that sells second-hand good-as-new clothing and equipment for children and for maternal, uh, maternal stuff, you know, maternity wear and so on. Um, we're there to serve the community in lots of ways, but we, we don't make a profit, obviously, being a charity, and everything that we make over and above what we need just to stay in St. Martin's expensive walk, um, <laughs> we, we give back into the community in some way or other. Um, we, we generally give out gifts where people are referred to us, but sometimes we hear of people and we just give out gifts That's to people. Nice. We've supported one of our volunteers more recently to do uh, a course in countryside management. And Excellent. it's been something on her heart for years. So we're supporting her to do that. But we can, we can do anything. You know, we can help. We mm. have helped with funeral costs, for carpeting, for flooring, for, for someone to go on a holiday mm -hmm. with, their, with their children who've not had a holiday for years. Mm. Or we've, we've, we've arranged um, bus trips to, wow. to the beach, to, mm. the, to, to a farm. Uh, and we want to do that again yeah. this year coming because we weren't able to do so much this, yeah. this year. That was really difficult. Yeah. Lockdown in summer felt a bit barren in some ways, but we tried as hard as we could to keep in touch with our families. We uh, spoke to people on social media, on the yeah. phone and so on, but um, often bumped into them when we were going for walks, mm -hmm. which was a lovely lovely opportunity as well but mostly we we held we tried to empty the shop of, yeah. of lots of the toys books and dvds by having a, a giveaway and uh, we had three of those outside the harvest community church and uh, lots of families came socially distanced of course and collected stuff to entertain the children during those times oh, rosemary that's incredible it sounds like i mean not only are you doing a fantastic thing in the community you and the volunteers and those who are running beatitudes but just the last months the to adapt to lockdown and meet the needs of the community uh, that's really incredible thank you so much for sharing and with us this christmas we have given away to women and to children over a hundred presents and to volunteers wow. to help people at Christmas time because it's a particular time where everyone needs a little cheer and a little joy. Thank you well, for having us and thank you for all the support that St. Paul's and all the churches in Dorking give to this charity. We are so blessed to be part of it. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And, and just th being that blessing of joy is out of the joy we've received uh, from God. So let's go ahead and continue on as we sing joy to the world. Just sing and heaven and heaven 
Fantastic. Guys, that was brilliant. Thank you so much. Well, listen, we're coming towards the end of our service now, would you believe? And um, just a few things to let you know about. First of all, a huge thank you to a few people. I really want to give a great thanks to both to Mole Valley Council and also to Surrey FA, Sally and Andrew particularly there, who were amazing in trying to help us organize the event for the carols there. And um, thank you. We're looking forward to 2021 when we'll all be together in Meadowbank, a thousand of us. So look forward to that day. Um, also want to give a real thanks to the, all the musicians, to the choir, from the tech team behind us who made this all possible. And then finally, a great big thank you to you as well for watching. Peter mentioned and Rosemary told us a little bit about three charities that we're collecting for tonight. We heard from Beatitudes. We're also going to be collecting for a local charity called Beesome and for Dorking Food Bank. Um, do just click on the link that you should see below me. Uh, if you were coming to Meadowbank and you got an email, there should be a, a live URL link there that you can just click on to donate. Um, and if all else fails, just rewind this at the end and, and freeze or pause on the URL and you can type it into your computer. Um, well, listen, we've come to the end of our time and uh, it's a real pleasure to be joined by Father Tony. Father Tony's from St. Joseph's. All of this is done as churches together for Dorking. And uh, Tony leads, well, you're the chair of our group. So, Tony, would you mind coming and just saying a, a final prayer for us as we finish? Thank you very much, yes. Sometimes our plans don't quite work out. I bought a turkey at three o'clock on Saturday. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. But perhaps that helps us to focus and to realize that to quote St. Paul, for those who love God and are called by his name, everything works out for the good. And that's the bad stuff as well, or the stuff we call the bad stuff. So as we step forward again into the unknown a little bit, we know, Emmanuel, God is with us. And so with that in mind, May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, we wish you a great Christmas, however it may not have turned out the way you planned. Um, enjoy it, uh, and as Tony reminded us, God's with us through it all. Uh, have a super Christmas, and thanks for tuning in tonight.
children and their children.